Langrisam. Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I'm going to be going over the Echoes of Light skins from August 2020 to January 2021. So these are the Langrisam Mobile Echoes of Light skins where you have to put in like $278 to get them. But all the skins are quite pretty. So I was requested to make this video, so I figured I might as well. So with Major Update 21, the first skin that is available is Reen skin for the SSR Reen. And the next skin is the skin for Altina. The now Altina is actually an SR hero than a rather than SSR, but she also gets quite a pretty looking skin, as you can see. I have included the sprite for both her classes, one of which is a mage class, and the second class is actually a flyer class of all things. Next up then is the skin for Rosalia. And I should mention Rosalia's default skin is actually quite pretty. I have the default skin shown in the middle, which is not animated, as well as the skin for her default sprite at the top right. So the animated ones is her Echoes of Light skin, which don't get me wrong, it's a very, very nice skin too. Um, but I just wanted to mention that her default skin also looks pretty darn good. So after Rosalia is Noemi, and Noemi's skin is a very nice looking skin for her. It's just unfortunate that I don't feel that Noemi is a great character in general. So whether you even want to buy this skin for a hero that you're unlikely to build or use is questionable. Okay, but both heroes with Major Update 22 I've noticed are basically just waifu characters, you know, very pretty characters. In terms of utility or whether they're worth building, that is much more questionable. Moving on, next up is Update 23. And the first hero for the Update 23 is Magus of the Tree, also known as Oldius, also known as Hobo Landius. The skin that he gets though is basically as a Japanese monk, I would say. So it's a pretty nice skin for him. And as usual, if you buy Echoes of Light, it's not a bad skin to grab. Otherwise, not really worth it. Along with Hobo Landius, Helena also gets a Japanese looking skin. And Helena's skin is, I guess, a female Japanese samurai wielding a Naginata. After that, we move on to update 24. Update 24 has arguably some of the best skins, <laughs> especially if you're into bunny girls. So Florentia gets a bunny girl skin. I actually really like the sprite as well, especially that attack animation. So it's just a great skin if you are willing to pay that much money for a bunny girl skin. Subami, by comparison, gets a okay looking skin. You know, it's a... Archer Nekomimi, if you will. And yeah, very a much more futuristic looking skin as opposed to the bunny girl one. Both skins are totally about, you know, uh, Nekomimi ears and just fetish, if you will. <laughs> After that, we move on to update 25, which is coming in December. So with update 25, we have the Shaltier skin and the Albedo skins. So this is the update 
for the Overlord collaboration. And the two skins are pretty much skins from the game. Or sorry, not the game, the anime. And yeah, not too much needs to be said about them. Both skins are armored characters. So Shaltir looks like this. And Albedo is wearing armor like this. I feel like for both of them, their default skin just looks better. These skins are more just... I don't know. I mean, they're armored versions of them. So inherently, armor generally doesn't look that great on females. So it is what it is. You can't say they're bad skins, especially the sprites. But um, I'm not a fan of the skin look itself for either character. So let's move on to cover the remaining few skins, which is the next two. The first one is for Rosenseal. Rosenseal is pretty much a must-build character, although she's most likely to get constantly banned. On the left, I have her default skin, because even in her default look, she actually looks quite good. And now, showing on the left, is Rosenseal's Echoes of Light skin. So she has those three mirrors around her, and when she attacks, you can see that she launches these mirrors at the enemy in her sprite. It is definitely a very nice skin, uh, or very... how should I say it? It's very elegant, and a lot of detail has been put into this skin, for sure. And Clotaire is pretty much the same. A highly detailed skin, where he is launching out pieces of glass at the enemy. Very nice looking. It's both the sprites and the skin look great. You know. At the very least, it makes him look far less like an edgelord. But... Once again, whether you're willing to pay that $300 for these skins is ultimately the question. They're definitely a nice bonus to get if you're willing to put money into the game, but if you're not willing to put money into the game, ultimately, you know, whether you would actually want these skins is the question. But that's it. So these are all the skins that are coming for the next five major updates, right? From major update 21 to 26. Now, I've included the currently running major update, which is the Trails of Cold Steel Echoes of Light. And that's everything I wanted to say. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you found this video useful to you. And on that note, Nitro out.